I am Jason Hart. I'm the CTA for the Enterprise and Cybersecurity Division of Jamalta. So the term ethical hacker in its simplest form is an individual who's a good guy. A good guy who actually is looking for risks and vulnerabilities in an organization and to identify those risks and vulnerabilities before a real black hat or a hacker or disgruntled individual utilizes or compromises those vulnerabilities. See, there's an increasing drive for individuals to gain access to sensitive data. Data is the new oil. Data has value, be it personal identifiable information, credit card information. Then also you have the, the reputational impact where an individual, a disgruntled individual or a threat actor wants to call reputational damage to an organization. Data will continue to be the biggest risk facing any organization, individual or any country. However, the ability to protect that data is extremely simple. The biggest challenge organizations face is actually knowing what type of sensitive data, where the data is stored, and actually the risks they're trying to mitigate against the data. If they can understand those three components, applying and reducing the risk is very easy. So organizations can, can show trust and prove that they have trust in many ways. The first one is compliance. So depending on the type of industry, they can prove that they, for example, if it's in, if they're storing credit card data or using credit card data, they can prove that they're compliant to PCI. So that's a compliant regulated standard. So in order to be PCI compliant, you need to be applying certain key information security controls. The key thing for any organization to focus on, first of all, is actually to be situational aware. So the first thing is, what is at risk in my organization? What data am I trying to protect? In the event of a breach, what would cause the biggest pain? Is it my customer data? Is my credit card data? Is it my intellectual property? What is it in an organization you're trying to protect? Once you actually understand and reduce the scope of what you're trying to protect, then you start applying the appropriate security controls. For any organization in the world we are in today, virtualization, digital transformation and cloud, you should be really mandatory applying confidentiality and integrity controls. The fundamental basics in doing that is multi-factor authentication, access control, encryption and key management.